what he's looking at is the viability of entities in and onto themselves, i.e. a business. I have never been an aficionado of the Constitution. The reason for it, it's outdated. And what's happening now is we're coming into a new realism, a hyper-realism, where the states become more important. The devolution of power from the federal government, I told you, is happening very quickly. Except for one thing, the paradox is that Trump is very strong as a president. The subsequent president will never be as strong as Trump because now he will make sure we're independent. We broke away from China. Our medicines are made in the United States. Our products are made in the so United a strong States. Leader. It will go on to Pence. From Tampa, it will go on to Ivanka or Jared Kushner. And it, we will remain a viable country and a great country. I have no fear. Then too bad. But we did do the Abraham Accords and other things. But I would have even preferred to do this. We would have had something done. Just as I promised, I recognize Israel's eternal capital and opened the American embassy in Jerusalem. Jerusalem became the capital. I also recognized Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. You know, Miriam and Sheldon would come into the White House probably almost more than anybody outside of people that work there. And they were always after. And as soon as I'd give them something, always for Israel. As soon as I'd give them something, they'd want something else. I'd say, give me a couple of weeks, will you please? <laughs> But I gave them the Golan Heights and they never even asked for it. You know, for 72 years, they've been trying to do the Golan Heights, right? And uh, even Sheldon didn't have the nerve. But I said, you know what? I said to David Friedman, give me a quick lesson, like five minutes or less on the Golan Heights. And he did. And I said, let's do it. We got it done in about 15 minutes, right? Theory is this belief that you are secretly saving the world from this satanic cult of pedophiles and cannibals. Does that sound like something you are behind? Or well, I haven't, I haven't heard that, but uh, is that supposed to be a bad thing or a good thing? I mean, you know, if, uh, if I can help save the world from problems, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to put myself out there. And we are, actually. We're saving the world from a radical left philosophy that will destroy this country and when this country is gone the rest of the world would follow the rest of the world would follow